supposed to be graduating into an America fighting a misbegotten war in a foreign land. You weren't supposed to be graduating into a world where we are still fighting for fundamental human rights, whether it's the rights of immigrants to start a new life or the rights of gays to marry or the rights of women to choose. You weren't supposed to be graduating into a world where oil still drove policy and environmentalists have to fight relentlessly for every gain. You weren't, but you are, and for that, I'm sorry. I get a question all the time, uh, are you going to run again for office? And I've thought about that, and I've come to realize that there's still some Democrats out there that I haven't ticked off yet. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> They haven't seen anything yet. So let's be proud of who we are. Let's be proud of the things that make us who we are. And let us all stand proud as we say in chorus, God, I love America. Thank you. What's wrong with assistance so that people can have their full and complete uh, right to the very liberties and freedoms that we enjoy. To quote my daughter, who made us the boss of them? But what Brett and Cal didn't tell you they were looking for an intelligent, particularly clean presenter. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's so upset about what Rosie said. I mean, uh, all she did was equate uh, radical Christianity with radical Islam. And, and last night I was in church in my neighborhood. It's, you know, our Wednesday night beheadings. And what? Mary, nobody trusts your taste in men, okay? So, can I say? He's acquired taste. The last time we got a tape from Osama bin Laden was right before the uh, 2004 presidential election. Now here we are, uh, four days away from uh, hearings starting in Washington into the wiretapping of America's telephones without bothering to get a court order or a warrant. And up pops another tape from Osama bin Laden. Coincidence? Who knows? Nancy Pelosi, Democrat from California, took the gavel. But in a picture perhaps even more symbolic, the new speaker was on the floor for a time holding her six-year-old grandson, all the while giving directions on how events were to proceed. It seemed the ultimate in multitasking, taking care of the children and the country. I've, there have been two references tonight to my humility, and I'm sorry the cover's blown. <laughs> This is one of the most despotic regimes, and Kim Jong-il is one of the worst men on earth. Uh, isn't that a fair assessment? No, I didn't get, I didn't get to meet him, but uh, he didn't look, uh, in the pictures that I've seen of him on CNN, he didn't look, uh, look too much different but than look most at the other way, people look at the way I've he's, met. Look at the way he's treating his own people. Well, hey, listen, I saw a lot of people over there. They were thin, and they were riding bicycles instead of driving in cars, but... Uh, a lot of those people are I starving. Didn't see, I, didn't see any, I, I didn't see any brutality. Discord and 